yes in today's video we are going to be covering ecom e ecom e we did a video not that long ago and we're going to dive in because we've got some phenomenal things to share last time we did technical analysis this time we're going to focus on fundamentals and the utility of the token i've been looking for more excuses to wear my iron man suit my iron man helmet because ecom e has got a partnership exclusively for the nfts with marvel i'm gonna wear this throughout the whole video so if you like today's video like subscribe hit the bell notification and let's dive straight in now, if you don't know me by now my name is Jigir. i'm the award-winning author of the extraordinary new venture capital opportunity how to invest like a pro i've been trading currencies for around 15 years now and i was featured in this best-selling book high probability trading strategies back in 2008 but now i exclusively focus on crypto let's actually just quickly dive in because my last video i actually did a video on ecom on the technicals on the price action now the analysis was actually done on the 28th of june i think the video got released on the 2nd of august you know we have an editing process so sometimes the video don't come out on the same day but this was the analysis and we said look it's looking like a textbook a b c correction just as a quick update look at this the correction was like bang on bang on and we see this time and time again with elliott wave theory and i do a lot of analysis with elliott wave theory and its technicals and just so you know elliott waves really just show you the psychology of the markets and what the market is flowing like right now so when we see this move and this reaction this is called an overbalance in price and what that simply means before we jump into the fundamentals and the utility of the token this price action because i know a lot of you are invested in ecomi um Asub, I believe it was Asub, he corrected me, I was calling it Ikomai. He said, no, Jigi, it's Ikomi, Ikomi. All right, okay, so thank you for correcting me. Uh, so with the overbalance of price, what that means is this movement to the upside is bigger than any former move to the upside. And this is just from the date of, what's the date? It's from uh, um, June, middle of June. It was the late end of June, and this just shows that there's a difference in buying patterns so we should see a continuation of the bull trend we'll probably see a bit more of a correction some type of move to the downside uh, more like this if i can flip this around there we go if i can flip this around boom probably see a pullback and then what we'll probably see next is a continuation a continuation to the upside again we'll do some more technicals at a later date what we're going to dive into today and hopefully i'm going to test it out can i do it successfully in this iron man suit how many excuses can you get to wear your iron man suit i originally bought this for a fancy dress party it was my wife's birthday a few years back so ecomi ecomi not ecomi ecomi powerhouse project partnered with vv or vv owns ecomi and they have their in-house app there or you even have their own wallet there's quite quite a few things that they're doing they've got a lot of partnerships i didn't realize how many they have so according to um, some of you guys, they have over a hundred and I was checking it out and it seems to be true. And some of the main ones are DC, The Simpsons, The Hobbit, Zelda. These are big names, right? Marvel, boom. Yeah. Tell me what you think about my, <laughs> my Iron Man helmet. My Iron Man helmet. Uh, my nephew loves this, by the way. My nephew, Dylan. Yeah, this one's for Dylan. Uh, Nintendo, Star Wars, Pac-Man, Bandai. I put Bandai in there because they're a huge toy company. Huge toy company. And then I was also looking at this video i think is really cool i'm gonna play it i'm gonna play it so is there superman nft that's recently come out i'm gonna play it in double speed it's only a minute long look at this look how sexy this got. these are the level of nfts that we're producing this one's in 3d oh, beautiful look at those muscles i know it's dc right we're, we're marvel today uh, superman is dc it's very very cool so what we're going to dive into today is the tokenomics on on omi ecomi omi omi is their token now quick thing so i read all the white papers i read a lot of the articles recently and what it showed was they are all about mass adoption and they realize crypto right now is at this early phase if i pull up my laser pointer on this chart crypto is so early like bitcoin's only been around since 2009 which is 12 years so we are at this kind of phase of adoption if it was the internet we're at probably 2001 2002 give or take there's people that say different things but we haven't really reached this mass adoption but we're getting there so the user experience isn't the best yet in crypto as a whole 
However, what, what Ecomi wants to do is make it easy for non-crypto heads, non-blockchain individuals to be able to use their Visa card, their debit card and buy their NFTs. That's what they did. Flow Blockchain did that recently with um, NBA Top Shots. You know, you can buy the NFT and you don't have to know anything about crypto. You can just pay as you're used to paying in the normal world. So now let's look at the tokenomics. So use your Visa card. Step one with the VV app, which is what's, what you have to go to to purchase the NFTs, is you have to first buy the in-house currency. The in-house currency, which is not a token, it's not a um, cryptocurrency, it's an in-house token, so to speak. And you have to buy, they're called gems. So you buy gems first. And the main reason for gems is for the ease of use for the mass adoption of the customer. For you, if you're not used to crypto, you can use gems, which you can relate to. Whereas going on an exchange, buying OMI and then getting it over to here and then putting it into your, to your wallet. Because keep in mind, when you have to buy OMI, you have to first have USDT or Bitcoin. Then you have to open up a, an exchange account. There's so many steps and it puts people off. So here they've made it easy. They said, look, just go straight to the app, buy gems. Right, so that's your that's your inner. So let's just say an individual, as an example, bought fifty dollars worth of gems. What they will get is fifty gems. That's it, and it'll be in the gem wallet, right? Which is in the VV app. Really, really important. And then they'll look and shop for the NFT. In this case, let's just say they saw this Marvel NFT and it was valued at or priced at fifty gems. They just buy. They just click buy. Boom, it's done. So it's a really easy user experience for the mass adoption, for the everyday user. But you may be thinking, yeah, but how does OMI come into this? How does the tokenomics, especially if you're investing in the token, because you want to see that the token is going to be used, the token is going to be purchased beyond just speculation, right? That's what we want to look at. So what happens? This is really cool. So they've done something really, really clever. So you bought, bought the NFT, the users got the NFT, they own the NFT, a non-fundable token that's associated to their wallet address. Bang, it's done. But in the back end, OMI is doing a lot of work and an individual buying gems and buying the NFT is actually also mirrored where they buy OMI, OMI and buy the NFT. And what I mean by that is OMI have something called a reserve wallet where 40% of the token supplies are put in a reserve wallet. And as soon as someone buys gems, what happens is a protocol gets triggered, boom, and the equivalent amount of OMI, so this case is going to be $50 worth of OMI at that token price because OMI fluctuates, goes into the user's wallet, their OMI wallet, and then straight into an OMI vault, the company vault. As soon as the individual buys the NFT, so they transfer their gems for the NFT itself, in the back end, in the protocol with the OMI token, the equivalent amount goes into what's called an out of circulation wallet where the tokens get burnt. Now, why is this important? It's important because it means there's a deflationary effect and the, the, the least amount of tokens there are, the more tokens that get burnt, almost like thrown away or locked, the more valuable the price because there's a whole supply and demand model. And that brings more utility or, or there's a high probability that the price is going to go up. Your OMI is going to be worth more in the future because they're burning tokens. When people spend gems, your OMI gets burnt or OMI gets burnt. Hopefully that makes sense. Hopefully that makes sense. So just think of it like this. For the, for the ease of use, if you're thinking, why do they use gems? Well, it's for the everyday person that's not crypto. They've never bought USDT. They've never bought Bitcoin. They don't know what a wallet is. They don't know what a public key is. They don't know all of this jargon. And that may be you. And if that's the case, all they have to do is use a Visa card, which they used to, buy gems, which is like an in-house token, buy your NFT. Very simple. But in the back end, OMI is mimicked through the whole chain as if they had bought with OMI. So the same action happens with the price. So it's an internal currency. But what Ecomi has launched recently, uh, I believe it was June 2021, is all the revenue that they make each month, out of all the revenue that they make each month, 10% of that revenue is used to buy back OMI from the open exchanges. So recently they listed on OKX, there are a few different exchanges, they will spend 10% of their revenue and buy back from the open market to top up their reserve account, reserve account, 
because this is important for their protocol. It's very, very important for their protocol. But it's also good for you as a token holder. Why? Because let's just say OMI did, or Ecomi did 100 million in sales and VV did 100 million in sales. Well, 10% of 100 million is 10 million. That month, they will go to the open market, OKX and a few other exchanges and buy $10 million worth of tokens, which means there's $10 million worth of buying happening, which pushes up the token price and simply Ecomi just tops up their reserve wallet. They're also, I believe it's this quarter, quarter three, from what I could read, they're gonna uh, launch a staking feature. Staking feature meaning you can put your OMI into a special account and you'll get interest. You'll also be able to do something with your NFTs. So you can have your NFTs, but you can also stake your NFT because they hold value and you'll get OMI tokens. So they're now looking to add more use cases to the token. So there you have it. Tell me if you like this. <laughs> I am a mask. I haven't worn this for years. I thought any excuse, right? Any excuse. I thought I'll do it because it's relevant to Ecomi. They're a powerhouse NFT project. The more I look into them, I go, actually, these guys are probably going to do incredibly well because NFTs are booming right now. If you look at some of the gamification that's happening and they're now starting to develop different use cases for tokens beyond just art and collectibles. So they're looking at different use cases. They are also partnered with Immutable X. So currently they're on the gold chain which is cheaper, faster um, than Ethereum. So the gas fees are really, really cheap. But Mutable X is the Ethereum layer two solution. So it's uh, it's gonna be better again, a better user experience. I don't know, I think they're planning on moving over in quarter four or maybe early next year. So there's really, really good development happening with Ecomi. So tell me what you like best about today's video. Was it the technicals or the price action? Cause we hit it bang on, nail on the head. You know, the price went up by 50%. It went from around two cents around three and a half cents, actually 75%, it went up from our last technical analysis. And it's important to be aware of the psychology of the market because even the token utility is not just the fundamentals that drives price. There's now over $500 million in the market cap of e -commy. And what that means is a big section of that is gonna be speculation, investors that are gonna be speculating on price. And when you look at technical chart patterns, regardless of how good the utility is, People are going to buy and sell also based just on the price because they're going to look to hold the token because they believe it's going to go up or they're going to go sell because they believe it's going to go down. So it's important to know that. Or did you prefer the fundamentals, the utility of the token today? So if you like today's video, like, subscribe, hit the bell notification. We're nearly at a thousand subscribers. I appreciate you. I love the e -commerce community. I, I feel the vibe. Even just from the comments that I've received, I, I feel the vibe of you know, some really, really loyal fans. So let's finish on a quote. We're gonna finish with the richest man in Babylon. I'm gonna repeat this quote. I read this a few while, a little while ago, but I think it's important. Men and women of action are favored by the goddess of good luck. Men and women of action are favored by the goddess of good luck. So keep taking action, whether it's investing, whether it's learning, whether it's buying NFTs, because NFTs is just a whole new space, right? A whole new space, some exciting things happening. So like, subscribe, hit the bell notification, and I will see you very soon.